for World Gin Day this year, I have chosen to showcase a, a gin that's fairly new to me. Um, it is a Swedish gin and it is from Macmyra. Uh, they're typically known for their whiskies, um, but they have two gins. Uh, this is the one that I've had for a couple of weeks and I'm really enjoying it. I was lucky enough to get it in a bundle um, with a whiskey as well, so I uh, got a good deal there. Uh, so this is Lab Distillery Organic Gin, uh, really good for cocktails. Um, that's why I'm getting down the bottle so quickly, I think. Um, but I'm going to do three cocktails for you today. I'm going to do a Swedish 75, a Floridora and have a heart. Uh, so a Swedish 75, really a twist on a French 75. So we're going to swap out the sugar syrup for a jam. Um, and it's Oh, it's just a lovely fruity summer cocktail. I think you'll enjoy it. So you'll need a gin, um, obviously Macmyra gin if you have it. Um, if not, any London Dry gin will work. Any um, Old Tom will work here too. You will need some jam. Now, ideally, I'd like you to try some lingonberry jam if you can get it. If not, a strawberry or a raspberry jam. Uh, blackcurrant could work well here too. I've actually got uh, a bit more of a boozier one here. It's a strawberry daiquiri jam from Baked in Belfast. It's a small um, business in, in Belfast and this is a really lovely jam um, because the texture is really good um, for mixing cocktails. You'll need some Prosecco, some Carver, Champagne, whatever sort of fizz you'd like. I find the Prosecco works really well with this one with the fruit. Um, so Prosecco if you have it um, or any sparkling wine and um, some lemon juice as well. So I've already uh, squeezed my lemon juice and you'll need a little twist of lemon as well at the end. So into your shaker, we're going to shake the ingredients um, except the Prosecco. So you want about three quarters of a shot of lemon juice. Okay. So keeping that lemon juice from the French 75. Whoops. And about, I'd say, two good um, teaspoons of your jam. So this is a teeny weeny spoon, so I've got to go a bit more. Got a good, good blob of jam in there. I can smell that strawberry already. It smells lovely. And then one and a half gin. So I'm hoping this most of this gin will last me for all the cocktails. I think it will. <laughs> So we're going to shake these ingredients. So pop some ice in, don't need too much ice, a couple of cubes to do it on. In fact, these are huge cubes, so that will definitely do it. And give it a good shake. You really want that jam to mix up um, into the alcohol. nicely. Do chill your glasses um, if you can before pouring your cocktails. I haven't done, um, for, completely forgot about that bit. And we're going to strain this, double strain it into, hopefully this, this strain is on its last legs really, but we'll see if we can do it. Um, so double strain, fine strain into your champagne flute. Oops, made a mess already, never mind. I might have to give up on the strainer. Yeah, I'm going to give up on the strainer. Excuse me. Nice messy one. There we go. So it should come out halfway, third to halfway, your champagne flute. And then we're going to top up with our Prosecco. I always make a mess with the Prosecco as well. <laughs> so gently pour that in. I like to fill it quite close to the top, um, but if you're on rations, a little bit less. <laughs> and then we are going to decorate that with a lemon twist or you could do a, a 
a good thick slice of lemon zest in there too. I'll take, give it a little tug and then just drop that in. And that is a rather messy Swedish 75. Next up is the Floradora, which is an English recipe, a long drink uh, that we're going to build in a high bowl. I've already got my gin in here because I had a little blooper earlier, um, but it is the McMyra Swedish gin that I'm using. And there's also some Chambord black raspberry liqueur. You can get so many raspberry liqueurs now as well. So do have a look at your local distillery or your local farm shop. You'll probably find one that's local to you as well. You'll need some ginger ale. I'm using the Fever Tree uh, Refreshingly Light ginger ale. You can use ginger beer here if you want or soda water. Soda water works quite nicely actually. And you'll need um, some lime as well. So already got in my glass um, some ice filled up to about uh, what would be two thirds, three quarters of the way up here and two shots of gin. I'm now popping in one shot of lime juice already squeezed. Oops, that was spot on. And then we're going to go for about three quarters of a shot of the raspberry liqueur. I always find it difficult to pour from this bottle. About there. So gently pour that in. It will sink a bit swirl around your ice gives a really lovely effect this one and then we're going to top up with our ginger ale I do tend to buy the cans nowadays it just seems to keep fresher and keeps more um, for longer so top that all the way up as best you can pop in some extra ice if there's room really lovely summer barbecue on this one and then we're going to decorate just with a simple wine oh lime wedge so a little squeeze but not too much and just pop that in and then a couple of straws so let's just get the straws in oops so i've got straws here from the paper straw party shop and they have lots of different designs and that is a beautiful floradora and this is my current favourite, I have to say. This next one is a vintage cocktail. It's Have a Heart. And in this one we use gin. So I'm sticking with the Swedish gin from McMyra. And we have Swedish punch as well, um, which I'm really enjoying. It is a liqueur, um, but you could switch out for a, a rum here. Um, if you don't have it, you don't need too much. Um, but it is a really good one if you enjoy your vintage style cocktails. We'll need a little bit of grenadine and some lime juice, uh, about half a lime. And for your garnish, we're going a little bit fancy here. We're going for some pineapple and some cherries as well, which I've already skewered there. So into our cocktail shaker, a little bit of ice. We are going for one and a half gin. Very nearly at the end. <laughs> so this gin, it's about, it's just over £30 for a bottle. £30.90, I think. Um, that's straight from the McMyra UK website that I've got this. Um, really good cocktail gin. I think it's really good value, actually. Um, so definitely one that I think will stay on my shelf. You'll need about three quarters of a shot of the Swedish punch. So it's, I'm trying to describe it. Um, it, it does smell very rummy, um, which is why I think you could replace with rum, be it white rum or a golden rum here. Um, but it's really, yeah, really popular in some of the, the vintage cocktail books. So about three quarters of a shot. And then you want the juice of half a lime. And I've forgotten to bring my juicer, so it'll be brute force. <laughs> so it's about half a shot on a sort of smallish lime. Just a little squeeze. Something quite nice about squeezing it. Look at the fingers. Yeah, 
I should do for now. I do like my line though, so that's why I'm trying to get so much out of it. <laughs> and then we need just a dash really of um, the grenadine. This one by Monin um, is not fully um, pomegranate, which grenadine usually is. Um, and this is a syrup. Um, you can get alcoholic syrups as well. So do watch out if you are looking for alcohol free, by the way, when you're looking for grenadine. Um, I get this one because um, my little boy likes to have grenadine in his orange juice for a sunset. Um, but this one is mixed berries and I think a little bit of vanilla in there as well. Um, but it doesn't detract. It gives a really, really red colour. So you'll find some grenadines are not quite so strong in their colouring. So it's a dash, I'd say. Oh, I don't say a dash. It's probably a teaspoon. Not quite a teaspoon. I don't know. This is going to go quite red. I'm not good at dashes. <laughs> And then we're going to give it a good old shake. Oh, I forgot my glass. So I'm serving in a vintage style cocktail glass. Um, yeah, that'll be right. Good shake with the sun. Smells gorgeous. And we're going to strain this one. Got some strainer. Oops, I'm shaking. Into our glass. So it's a fairly short one, this one, usually. Um, but really rich and beautiful. Beautiful colour there. And then somehow I'm going to balance <laughs> the pineapple. Um, there on top. Now we might be better. <laughs> and that's our Have a Heart. So these are my three choices for World Gin Day. The Swedish 75, so that twist on the French 75. Um, switching out uh, the sugar syrup for the jam. Uh, I use strawberry jam, but I do recommend using lingonberry jam if you can get it. And then the Floradora, which really has become one of my favourites again, uh, with the raspberry liqueur and uh, the ginger ale in there as well as the lime. And then have a heart. So this does use Swedish punch, which you may not come across um, very easily, um, but you can switch it out for the rum. So I do hope that's one that you can try at home as well. All of these have been um, made with the McMyra organic gin, so Swedish gin. I'm really loving it. Um, it's working so well in cocktails and I believe it may have been actually made for cocktails actually, um, well with cocktails in mind. Um, but I've really enjoyed all of my purchases from McMyra. I've got a beautiful um, Bjorkser whiskey up on the shelf behind me, um, which I might try a few cocktails with as well. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy them all and see you soon. Thank you.